What up, what up, Winbush here. And today I wanna to show you guys the roadmap for Unreal Engine 5.1 and also how you can get access to it if you wanna download it today. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So with everything I'm gonna be showing you here, I'm gonna leave everything down in the descriptions and also I'll pin it inside the comments so you have access to everything here. So to get started off, this is the official roadmap for Unreal Engine 5.1, and I'm not gonna go through everything here. Again, I'll leave the link in case you guys see something specific that pertains to you that you wanna dive deeper into. But if I look at the roadmap here, you can see we have Lumen improvements that are coming, and if you click on it, it's gonna tell you everything that's included in 5.1, which is really, really cool. It looks like we have some cool updates in here. Another one that pertains to me will be Nanite improvements. I do have a tutorial on how we can bring our assets from Cinema 40 into Unreal using Nanite and stuff of that nature. So that's also a much welcome improvement. We have path tracing improvements that are coming. Something that I haven't personally experimented with too much, but with the improvements, let's actually click on it and see what we have here. Yeah, so a lot of people, they told me, you know, like decals weren't working before and a lot of stuff that I like to use wasn't available in path tracing before. So maybe with this update, I'll try it out. So just scrolling down a little bit more, you can see everything is categorized. Like we have world building. We have a bunch of stuff that's coming improvements there. You keep scrolling down. You have some developer stuff in there, stuff that doesn't really pretend to me. We have some character animation improvements coming, which pertain to a lot of you guys out there. Me personally, I like doing all my animation beforehand and then bringing it into Unreal Engine. But for those that like the live link their stuff, or if you like doing your animations and keyframing in Unreal, it looks like we have a lot of improvements coming in that regard as well. Scrolling down, we have some stuff for audio that's gonna be coming. Something again that I usually do in post, I'll do it in like Blackmagic Resolve things of that nature but if you want to do it in engine we have some stuff coming on here keep scrolling down we have platform we do have a uv editor improvement in which i believe is going to be improving udem so yeah we have udem support that's going to be coming with the uv editor it's still in beta but i want to give this a shot once it comes out and then let's scroll down again now this is the stuff that I was really interested in, the pipeline stuff. So a lot of you know, I'm a Cinema 4D user. I bring in a lot of assets using the Datasmith plugin. And so I wanted to see what kind of improvements that we're gonna have there. And if you look right here, where it says Datasmith SDK, they have Cinema 4D listed, but it doesn't say everything that it's gonna be bringing in. So I hope we get some improvements with Cinema 4D at least. And then the one thing that did catch my eye is the new Datasmith class elements in which I would usually export out my class simulations as Alembic files and bring them into Unreal. So if we could bring them over using a Datasmith plugin, that's something that's much welcomed. And then I did catch this over here too. We have a Datasmith exporter plugin for 3D Max, which I think that's pretty cool. Like I wish we had something like that for cinema. Maybe that's something that's on the later roadmap, but I didn't realize you can actually export from Datasmith as well. I thought it was only an importer, but if we keep scrolling down here, let's see, we have some cloth improvements, which is coming. Again, I was saying I do all my cloth simulations in Cinema 4D, but maybe I'll start doing it in Unreal and just give that for a go. And if I keep scrolling down, there was a virtual camera thing that I saw. Yep, so we have virtual camera enhancements. I've done several tutorials on how to hook up your iPad to Unreal Engine, but it looks like we're gonna be getting some improvements on that. I know a couple of people hit me up saying, that they often will have like connection issues or latency and stuff like that in which i did see in here it's going to be updating the latency so maybe with this update it's going to improve it for a lot of you guys out there and so if you guys wanted to try this out you can actually download it today i personally i haven't downloaded it because i'll just wait for it to come out but i know a lot of people are itching to want to be the first to kind of try out some of these improvements and so if you did want to try those out I'll walk you through the steps here. I'll share the links with you guys. And you know, it's up to you guys on how you wanna proceed with that. But if you look right here, this is actually the Epic Games GitHub. And so if I scroll down, you can see we actually have to sign up for it first. So if you click on sign up, it's actually gonna give you the steps that you need. And then you could go right here to the repository to get Unreal Engine. I know 5.1 is currently in there. I know some people have actually downloaded it. But again, I believe the way that you get into that is you have to sign up first, which leads us to this link right here. This is actually on the official Unreal Engine website. But if you scroll down, it just shows you how to get started. You know, you go to GitHub, you have to connect it to your actual account and everything. 
and then you have to apply for it i believe or actually you authorize it and then you'll get an acceptance email and then you'll be able to get it from github from there but again github basically it's not just giving you the file like you actually have to compile it yourself which is why i didn't want to download it because i have a lot of client work on this computer in which i use unreal engine currently for a lot of projects that i'm working on and i don't want to take the chance of messing anything up but if you have like a separate computer or you want to take the chance, you can actually follow this tutorial, I believe, which will show you how to compile everything. And so again, I'll leave this link down below. Look for it in the descriptions and in the comments. But this is actually in the dev community where you can find like the different tutorials and the forums and things of that nature. But if you scroll down, they actually made like a YouTube video walking you through the process if you want to actually source build it out yourself and actually use it through that way again i'm personally not going to do it i'll just wait for the official release but if you go to js films youtube channel i know he currently is using it and he posted up a couple of videos as well in which i shared a link to his youtube channel here if you want to check some of his stuff out but if i scroll down here looking at some of the videos i know he's done some stuff with the in camera anamorphics it looks like he just released a video nine hours ago using nanite foliage which is a new feature but yeah i would say check out js films if you don't want to download it like myself and kind of just go through and check out what he's been doing like i see that he did a comparison earlier maybe a couple weeks ago comparing like ray tracing and path tracing at 5.1 so definitely give this stuff a look so hopefully this helped you guys out giving you guys the roadmap check out exactly what you want to see in it and then you know if you're filling up for it download the source on github and try it out for yourself so, and i want to thank you guys again for supporting the channel if you're new here make sure you subscribe Give me a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below i'd be curious to see if any of you guys have tried this out <laughs> again like i know i said it 10 times but i'm just gonna wait for the official release but until next time stay fresh keep creating and i'll catch you guys in the next video i see you soon take care what up what up Wimbush here